So alongside the Pixel series, the Android 11 Beta is available for a number of third-party devices, which includes the OnePlus 8 series. But what does it bring to the table? Well, we've installed it on our devices to find out. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. As you may already know, we've done a few deep dives into all the nuances of the Android 11 developer preview phases prior to the first consumer facing beta builds. There is a decent amount to unpack, but overall, if you were expecting a major overhaul, then you might be left a little bit disappointed. If you do have a OnePlus 8 series device, then you can install and run a beta build of Android 11. Now it is a beta in name only, as this is aimed specifically at developers. So just for that reason alone, we would wholeheartedly suggest that you avoid installing on your brand new OnePlus device if possible. From the very outset, this is not the Oxygen OS experience that you've probably come to know and love. It is buggy, it's stripped back, and only exists so that developers can ensure their software and applications are ready for Android 11 on OnePlus 8 and other series devices. We simply cannot recommend installing on your main device. OnePlus knows, of course, there are major issues, and they've already listed quite a few over on the dedicated website for Android 11. Because we'd rather take the risk for you, we've installed the beta on our OnePlus 8 to give you the lowdown on what you might be missing out on, which luckily is not that much at all. These are all of the new major features brought in the Android 11 beta series for OnePlus 8 handsets. Before coming to a recent Oxygen OS open beta build, the dark mode toggle was one of the most requested additions. You do get this option in Android 11 Beta 1, with the option to quickly toggle between dark and light modes through a notification toggle within the new update. However, the dark mode when running Android 11 Beta on the OnePlus 8 has tons of issues and problems. For starters, text in the app drawer on the stock OnePlus launcher is barely visible, Plus there are other weird half implementations within setting menus and more. Despite mistakenly being announced as part of the recent Oxygen OS open beta builds, the dedicated one-handed mode is now present in Android 11 beta for OnePlus 8 series devices. This upcoming mode looks as though it's designed more around reachability than being a proper one-handed mode though, and it closely resembles the method favoured by iOS. We have some bad news though, as at present it doesn't seem to work at all. You can enable the option, but it hasn't worked on any of our OnePlus 8 devices running the latest beta. It might be dormant, at least until the next update, as OnePlus works out the kinks though, but at least the option is coming in future. The OnePlus Camera 5.4 app is bundled in with the Android 11 beta on OnePlus 8 devices and brings a number of changes that might enhance your overall experience. The most notable is that of QuickShare. This lets you use a quick gesture to send photos directly to social media or to other apps installed on your device. Burst Video has also come with this update, which lets you long press the shutter button in photo mode to grab quick video clips. This might be great for when you want short form video for things like TikTok, Snapchat, Byte, and even general social media. On top of those, there is also a revamped UI when you zoom in on a focal point within the viewfinder using this Burst Video mode. This means you can quickly record videos one hand while simultaneously being able to digitally zoom in. OnePlus has added a few new clock options for you to further customize your lock screen too. You'll find them within the OnePlus theming options. There are some nice minimal options, but hopefully we'll see even more come the full launch of Android 11 for OnePlus hardware. On top of that admittedly short list, there are some general Android 11 tweaks, including conversations, which means the new layout for the notification shade, plus all of the extras that come with the enhanced options. Notifications are marked as conversations and we'll take precedent over old notifications within your notification shade, putting them right at the top of your list. This makes things like chat and messaging apps much more prominent and easier to access. Chat bubbles like you've seen on Facebook Messenger are also part and parcel of the upcoming full Android 11 update, with the floating windows also seemingly available as part of this beta. Not many applications actually work with bubbles just yet, but the feature will be great for avid texters. As part of this full notification revamp, you can actually check your full notification history at a glance. It might not be the most important addition, but if you're missing some, then it might be nice to be able to check back when your phone pinged you last. The Android 11 beta also lets you set specific conversation notifications as important or priority. Then you may see status profile icons within your status bar rather than the app icon itself. 
this might be great to help you distinguish generic SMS messages from those you receive from friends and family. So in essence, this is not a comprehensive update for those with OnePlus 8 series devices. Again, we must stress that it isn't an update we recommend installing on your main or only smartphone. However, if you have taken the plunge or what you've seen previously, what is your favorite new feature? And what else would you like to see come in a future Android 11 beta update for OnePlus hardware? Let us know down there in the comment section below. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.